All right, good morning, everybody. It's Monday the 18th. Hope you had an awesome weekend. And uh, back to the grind this week. Had a good rest day yesterday, Sunday. And uh, let's see what we've got on the workout for you. First day of the week. So, our uh, RX workout. Remember today we're doing the unloaded version. The fully loaded and the partially loaded version is on our website. You go to our home icon, click on the home workout. You'll see that today is Kelly. So Kelly is traditionally a 400 meter run, 30 box jumps, and 30 war balls. 400 meter run, 30 box jumps, 30 war balls, and we try and do as many rounds of that in 35 minutes. All right, so because we don't have boxes, too many boxes to jump on, and we don't have any war balls, we are gonna scale it. We're gonna stick with a 30, 35 minute period. So we've still got a 35 minute AMRAP, all right? We're still gonna do a 400 meter run, if you've got a 400 meter area that you can pace out a 400 meter, do that. If you've got something that's more or less close to that, ideally you're looking to be running for about two minutes. Okay, so a good hard run, 145 if you're really fast, two minutes, two minutes 10, two minutes 20, that, 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 that's okay. Otherwise you can do 20, 20 meter shuttles. Okay, 400 meters, 20, 20 meter shuttles, still trying to cover that same amount of distance. We're gonna do 30 object jumps. If you've got a box to jump on and off, we can do 30 box jumps still. Right. If you've got an object jump, we can do some kind of ob object jump. If you're going to do object step-ups or box step-ups, you can do 30 box step-ups. And then we're going to do 50 air squats. Okay, so um, if you've got a, some kind of a weight, like a 5-litre uh, water bottle or something you can hold or weight or a dumbbell, you can do a goblet squat and you can weight that and we can reduce the reps. Otherwise, we're doing 50 air squats. Okay, so a 400-meter run, whether it's running in a single track or whether it's it's going to be shuttle runs, backs and forwards. Then we're going to do 30 uh, object jumps or box step ups or object step ups and then 50 air squats. All right, let's have a look at those quick movements for you. So, 400 meter run, if you're doing shuttle runs, we're going to be running backs and forwards. So, just a shuttle. Oh, from there you can turn around. You don't have to go backwards, back. 20 meters there, 20 meters back. And you do 20 meters. If you've got a 10 meter only, so up and down your passage, you can drive your husband or your wife crazy and you go 10 meters down the passage. That's where you turn around and do 10 meters backwards if you're doing inside. Depends if you've got a garden or if you're in a, a flat. You may not even have 10 meters and you have to do 45 meters. No, 85 meters. That'll be a task. Okay, uh, moving on. So if you've got a place to run, do a run. If you, need to, if you haven't got a place to run, you can skip, you're skipping for about two minutes. Right, just to get that cardiovascular rate up as much as you can. Then we do 30 object jumps. So object jumps, if you've got an object, your first object, right, you can scale it. We're just gonna go sideways over an object. Right, so do one jump. One, two, three, four over an object. If that's too high for you, you can scale it down even more. You do one, two, three. Okay, but we wanna get that heart rate up. If you want to go slightly faster, you can do slightly faster, but you may end up having to do this for more like a two minute period than just to do 60 backs and forwards. Otherwise, these jumps are going to move too quickly and you're going to do a lot of rounds of that. You can do quickly on this one. One, two, three, but you may have to up your reps as well because you're also going to get those 30 object, done, object jumps done too quickly. If you've got a crate or a box or a step, or a chair, something you can jump onto. You're gonna jump up and stand. Do 30 object jumps and stand. If you're gonna do a step up, you can do step up, step back down. So maybe a chair or a bench or a nice big log somewhere. Okay, those are gonna be object jumps. If you wanna step up sideways, you do sideways onto your object jumps, object step ups. Whatever you can use, okay? Next one will be 50 air squats. So your air squats, feet shoulder width apart. All right, press back into the hips and press. And we're trying to go for 50 reps. Make sure these hips are nice and deep. Shoulders back, chest up, stomach tight. And we're going through your air squats. If you've got something that you can use, right, you can do some kind of a weighted object step. If you do have some weight, you can actually start looking at dropping your reps down to back down to 30 reps. So you're going to hold the ball nice and tight and sit back into a squat, press and push. So if you use a five litre jug, that's a good five kilograms that you can press. One, 
and start using that squat work for your weighted squats. And that's it, okay? So our scaling, remember for our object jumps, we're gonna do step ups for our air squats, right? You can either increase the weight and reduce the reps if you wanna make it a little bit more difficult. You can also keep it on an air squat but actually reduce your reps down to 30 as well. So we're reducing the total amount of air squats to reduce the work done so that tomorrow and the next day and Sunday, oh, we're not doing this on Sunday, we're doing it on Monday. Lockdown's driving me crazy. Have you got your calendars right? Okay, guys, so that's the workout. Uh, that is your workout on the side. We're gonna go through your warm up and your workout prep now. Okay, guys, so your warm up. So we've got a 200 meter run, nice easy jog on the 200 meter run. If you don't have a place that you run, you're skipping, you're doing some fast feet, jumping jacks, chase the dog. You know the drill by now. All right, then we do some shuttle runs. Shuttle runs, if you have got a place to light up shuttle runs, you're gonna run forwards there, backwards back, forwards there, backwards back for your shuttle runs just to get your heart rate up. And you're gonna go through a whole bunch of running drills. Okay, the running drills are there to prep your hips, your knees, your back, your shoulders, make sure that you're firing properly so when it comes to the run for the workout, you're running nice and smooth. Right, so the first one, we're gonna do a long lunge and a twist. So we're gonna step forward. What we do is we're gonna walk forward into a step. We're gonna step forward. Hips, make sure that back leg is nice and straight. Make sure this foot here is just to the outside of the, of the hands and the knees to the outside of the hands. Back leg nice and straight, you're gonna twist. Uh, straight, so what I'm looking for is stretching through the hips, stretching through the hip flexor on the, on the left, stretching through the glutes and the hips on the right, and rotating through the core and the shoulders and the thoracic spine, and back down. Step, back leg nice and straight. Turn, and rotate. And you work for about a minute. Turn and rotate. Step. Turn and rotate. All right, that's going to be your long lunge with a rotation. All right, that's going to allow you slightly bigger mobility. Then we're going to do some slow jumping, some big jumping, and some high knees. So we're just going to work. So on the spot, we're just going to try and get a nice high jump. Jump. Nice high jump. Jump. Nice high jump. Jump, and we just slowly walk, walk, jump, walk, jump. Oh, this one. Then we do some bigger jumping. We're gonna start bringing the knees up as high as you can. So we're gonna walk, knees up, jump, tuck, jump, walk forward, tuck, jump, walk forward, tuck, jump, bring the knees up. It's gonna be a, a tuck jump. And then a, a last one is gonna be a high knees. Knees up nice and high, knees up. One, two, use your hands if you want to, if you can touch your hands to knees for your high knee drills as you can on the side. Fast knees, high knees, that's what we're doing. Then we got into butt kickers. So butt kickers, back straight, chest up. Keep that stomach nice and tight. And we're getting the, bringing the heels to the glutes. Hips, kicking, kicking on the side. And you can turn around, same thing. Just warming up the hamstrings, getting the heels firing. Next is gonna be a walking pigeon stretch. So it's gonna be a step. You're gonna bring the heel tucked in and stretch into this external rotation of the hip. So from there, you're gonna tuck, pull, stretch, back down. There, tuck, pull, stretch, and back down. Try and pull that ankle as close to the body as you can. Pull, stretch, and back down. That's your walking pigeon. Stretch up into tiptoes. So up into tiptoes is you want to get those ankles and feet nice and firing. So you're trying to, we do we call it the stiletto drill. Imagine you've got a high heel, this very high stiletto, and you're trying to keep the heels as elevated as possible. You're pushing through the ball of the foot. Okay, you're walking through the calves, walking through the ankles, pressing, and you do uh, backwards, coming back as well, keep the heels up nice and high for your stiletto drill. Okay, uh, tippy toes, high heels, same drill. Karaoke is gonna be a cross, so we're sipping and we're turning to the hips, tip, tip, and we turn, 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 start slowly, get rotation to the hips, and as you walk faster, you can start moving a little bit faster and faster. Right, you're probably looking for 30 seconds to a minute on each one of those, or 20 meters there, 20 meters back, that may be enough as well. 
Then we're going to do some three rounds, single leg stationary lateral step ups and side planking. So this is a bit of strength work for the hips. It's also going to get the glutes nice and activated, which is going to help with your run for one, but also going to help with those object jumps and all those squats that we've got to do. So what we're standing for, we're going to stand onto a box if you've got a stop box, a step, um, a chair, like a low chair. If you can find something to step lat laterally up onto, that's going to help. So a single leg stationary step up. We're doing 10 reps on the right, 10 reps on the left. And what we do is we're going to drive. My big thing is to try and make sure that this heel is pressing into the box. And when I'm pressing, I'm trying to push from this hip here. So I'm going to keep the stomach tight, hop, press, drive, step back down, slowly back down. Drive through the heel, press up, drive, step back down, stomach's tight. What you'll notice that if this knee is too far forward, the heel can't come down and you're also gonna feel a lot of work through the front of the, of the knee, kneecap as well as into this quadricep. Versus the heel down, hip shifted back slightly. Shift the hips back, engage into the abdominals, press, drive up. When you come down, slowly lower, stomach tight, hip works, one. Press up, slowly lower down, two. Hip function, okay, we're trying to get these glutes to work as much as possible, not too much in the quads. You're doing 10 on the right, and then you're doing 10 on the left. Then you do some lateral, some side plank leg raises. So let me just grab this off here. So our side plank. Okay. Not as easy as it is. So there's two options to do this. First one's gonna be on the elbows. Three, two, one, you're gonna come into a plank. What I'm looking for is making sure these hips don't drop. So my hips are pressing up into the air. Arm comes to the ceiling. Top leg lifts up off the top. And you're holding. One. Push up and hold, two, control. Push up and hold, three, as you lift this leg, make sure the hips don't drop. So it's not this. Okay, body straight, hips up, obliques working nice and hard, hold, down. If that's too much for you, you can lie on your side, try and keep your tummy off the floor. It's not as, uh, it's not as difficult, just hold, low down, one. And make sure that it's not the hip flexor that's firing, Glutes are nice and tight. Pull up, hold, two. Okay, it's a very different kind of drill in terms of your midline firing. If you get into your elbows, great. You just need to watch the shoulders okay and that there's not too much work in the hips. I think you do 10 on your left, 10 on the right. We're gonna do two rounds, or three rounds of that. 10 step ups on the left, 10 step ups on the right, 10 lateral leg raises on the left, 10 lateral leg raises on the right, three rounds. Okay, and that's gonna be your strength and your accessory work for today. That will get you up and firing. We do a small amount of workout prep. So do some squat work, do a little bit of jumping work again, make sure this is working here so that you are ready for the jumping and the squat work that you're gonna come here. So we're gonna do two rounds. If you can find some kind of a weight, normally like a five liter water jug is great. You can hold it right in the middle. If you've got, I don't know, uh, anything that you can hold that's gonna be weighted. If you haven't got it, it's not a problem. We're gonna do five front squats. So if you have got something that you can hold, and maybe a bit of an odd object, that's fine. Object, you can do five front squats, hips press back, something tight, one, two, for your front squats. If you can't have got something to hold, just do normal air squats, five air squats. Five air squats. You can do lateral step ups, you can do your step ups again, or you can go into lunges. So if you've got something to step up onto, you can step up, you can step forward. If you can use an object to step up onto. If you haven't got that, you wanna get some work, you can do lunges across the floor. Press back up with the front leg, press, press, do five, lat five lunges in that direction, five lunges in this direction. And then we're gonna do object jumps. So again, if you're gonna jump over an object, Jump over your object. If you're gonna jump onto an object, jump onto an object. If you can do step ups, then do step ups as well. And we do two rounds of that. Get your heart rate up a little bit. Make sure that you're jumping ready and that you squat ready. If you feel like you're ready, then it's time for the workout, okay? And it's a big one, 35 minutes. 35 minutes of explosive running, hard, hard fast run, Explosive work on the jumps, air squats, your legs are gonna burn, lungs are gonna burn. That's what we're looking for today. It's Monday. Enjoy your workout. See you tomorrow.